name is Lauren Gaw and welcome back to my channel. This year, one of my intentions, I don't like to use the word resolutions, is to do more things that bring me joy. And while baking is one of those things, I also love to do a ton of other things like rebuilding a van or today's video, we are going to be painting some terracotta pots. I actually saw some pots from West Elm and I was like, hmm, I really think that I can make something similar for way less money. So we are going to paint our own inspired by these West Elm pots. I will put a link in the description section below. So first, we are going to gather our materials. I bought these pots from Amazon. They actually come in a set of three pots and they are the exact same shape and the series of sizes as the West Elm pots. The pots from West Elm range in price from size ranging from $17 to $35. I got this set of three from Amazon for, insert price here, I forgot. They come with the matching saucer and everything. The rest of our materials, this is white craft paint from Michaels, a set of foam brushes. This special brush is in the shape of a triangle that came in a set from Michaels of a bunch of different shapes. I also have painter's tape, and then instead of a paint palette, I'm using this salsa top because I like to reduce, reuse, and recycle. AKA, I didn't wanna spend the like 50 cents on a paint palette. So first cover your workspace with paper, and then I am going to start with the smallest pot because the design is the easiest. It's just in horizontal lines, so we can use this one to warm up. First, the saucer is completely painted white, so we don't have to tape that at all. So I'm gonna use my tape that's already sticking together and go around the bottom. And the original pots at West Elm, they are not painted, they are glazed, but you know, this is gonna look close enough. Fold down that tape just a little so it's not in my way, and then you really wanna make sure that it's stuck around the edges because we don't want the paint to bleed through. Now our next layer is kind of a thicker uncovered portion and then another white line on top. So let's go ahead and tape that off. All right, how's that? And now there's another very thin uncovered area on the top. Uh, as I rotate this third tape, I can see how not straight that other tape is. But you know what? You're only gonna be seeing it from one side at a time. So who cares? All right, check this out. We have our lines taped off. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting this bad boy. I'm just gonna shake up my paint a little bit. Yes. And I'm gonna start by painting the saucer. It's just white all the way around. My pots were brand new. I did wash them off with water to get the dust off of them and let them dry completely. But you could paint any pot, even if it's used, just make sure you give it a good cleaning. And obviously you don't have to do these designs. If you aren't obsessed with West Elm like I am, you can paint whatever you want. There's some streaky areas. I'm just gonna go over it a little bit. I want it to look handmade, so it doesn't have to be perfect. My motto for the year is done is better than perfect. All right, guys, first pot is done. That was so easy. I almost feel like I can just paint all of them with stripes and call it a day. Okay, I'm gonna put this over to the side to dry very carefully. And we're gonna start with our second pot. This middle-sized pot is where we're gonna use our triangle pouncer. If you can't find a triangle-shaped pouncer, you could always draw them on and then paint the insides. Freehand triangles, you can cut your own. It's three triangles up the row. My pouncer is a little big, so I don't think I can get three triangles. I think I'm only gonna get two triangles. Here we go, let's do it. We're gonna do it. Do a little rocking motion, make sure I get all three corners. Ah, that's not so bad, I can live with that. Cool. We have triangles. I'm gonna use my regular foam brush to fill in these little gaps where I didn't get coverage using my regular pouncer. So we're already done with this, oh no wait. <gasps> I still need to paint the white saucer. Ta-da, easy peasy. Okay, this big 
pot. The design is a little bit trickier than the other ones. It's kind of a herringbone pattern. So we are going to use our tape to tape it off and hopefully we can make them all straight. We're also gonna have to work in sections. I'm going to tape down vertically and then make my herringbone stripes. And then to make the matching stripes on the other side, we're gonna have to take this tape off. So here we go. We can't put the tape straight down the center because I want my edges to meet up. So I'm going to eyeball the center and use the side of my tape where this side is going to be my center line. I'm going to do a matching one on the other side. And again, if it's not perfect, if you mess up, just put that side against the wall. And now I'm gonna do my other axis. That's close enough. I'm gonna go ahead and start taping off the herringbone pattern in this quadrant, and then we're gonna have to work in the opposite quadrant, and then we're gonna have to switch. Razzy, what do you think? What do you think, bud? Okay, so now I have three lines, four white spaces. They look like they relatively match. I'm gonna have to remember this design because we're gonna copy it on this quadrant. Does that kind of look like it matches? Sure, why not? Please dry. Let's check on our first pot. The saucer is dry to the touch. There's a few little streaks, but I think it looks pretty good. I can see the streaks in this pot also, so what I think I'm gonna do is do a second coat of paint on both the saucer and the pot. Maybe I will go back in and kind of cover some of the spots that are missing. Oh my gosh, my eyes are drying out because I'm not blinking. Okay, so I cleaned up these triangles just a little bit. Now let's go back and check on this big guy. I'm gonna go ahead and do another coat. We let this dry. I'm gonna do one more coat on the saucer. I think we are ready to peel the paint off of our first pot. Cross your fingers and hope we did a good job. I'm so stoked about the way this looks. Ta-da! Oh, I love it. I think that this looks fantastic. Our second pot, our triangle pot, we don't have any tape to peel off. So we can just admire our little triangles. And now, this guy. Oh my gosh, I love it. I wanna let this paint dry completely because we are going to put tape on top of it. So I don't wanna mess up what we just did. So we are gonna take a little break while this dries. I went ahead and put some plants in our first little pots. I've got my triangle pot, got my striped pot. Now, we need to finish our big pot. I am going to put this first layer of tape on top of what we just did, lining up with that line. Then, we are also going to do our diagonal lines, matching the lines that we just did. Hopefully, when we're all done, they look like they lined up. All right, I think this is about as good as I'm gonna get it. Oh no. The West Elm version is in a herringbone pattern, but the stripes are opposite. And the way I've taped it is my white stripes are gonna meet up and form these herringbone patterns. But since we already started, I'm just gonna keep going and it's gonna look the way that it looks. Also because I tried to wipe it off, but it won't come off, so we're gonna keep going. <laughs> okay. So we have to let this dry for a little bit. Let's we'll see if we did an okay job. Yes, you're a good helper. Oh, you're such a good helper. On some of my edges, they didn't quite line up. You obviously want them to match. So I'm gonna go back in with my little film brush. And I'm just gonna, gonna kind of fill in that edge. They kind of match up a little bit better. It's not perfect, but I'm still Super happy with the way this turned out. I think it still looks great. You guys, that is it for my first DIY crafting tutorial. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with all of your friends. If you guys 
have any ideas of things I can tackle next. I actually love craft projects, so hit me up in the comment section below. And what else? Thanks again for watching. Bye, you guys. I love them, they're so cute.